Time for a bit of DOSBox action here. That uh, asterisk is not an obscure command. That is me starting my Fraps recorder. FR. Yes, today we are playing Captain Comic 2 Fractured Reality. One of the best pieces of PC platforming ever produced. Now, you may remember Captain Comic. It was a freeware platformer and uh, you basically ran around the planet Tambi collecting these three special jewels you see the gems the gold and the crown um, you are this little gentleman Captain Comic all we know is he wears a helmet now this is the sequel this was a game you actually had to pay for produced by Michael Denio um, and I remember the first time I saw this this was just the most the richest and most detailed background I'd ever seen I mean look at those pipe things there, look at his terminal. I didn't wonder why his spaceship sort of uh, had what appeared to be 25 foot ceilings, but that's all fine. There's your briefing. Yes, yes. Important, important stuff. Now, of course, uh, this is nothing, nothing says DOS game like being able to define the keyboard by pressing K. Uh, this is some of the best uh, technology that uh, 1990 could provide for us. Let's have a little look here. Oh yeah, classic stuff. Now, you have to actually use the numpad uh, because uh, if you use the cursor keys in the middle, it calls that left shift. Just a little bit of trivia for you there. This is one I created earlier. This is one of the innovative things that the game, you know, profiles and it would save your progress as you went along. Other things this game has an inventory. That uh, black bar down the bottom there is your inventory. All these um, baddies uh, spawn uh, when you they respawn when you leave the screen, so uh, he, he saves a lot of overhead. You don't have to remember whether enemies uh, are alive or dead. These things, we used to call them Triffids, um, as you can see, because a bit of shield damage. Very, very irritating. Of course, what I should do is just blast them, shouldn't I? Yes, 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 let's blast them. Ah, it appears I need some blast Ola Cola. You may remember that from the original game. Almost everybody played Captain Comic. Very few people people played Fractured Reality because, as I mentioned before, you had to pay for it. One blast Ola Cola. As you proceed through the game, you'll collect more of them. End up with, um, I believe it's seven. It could just be five. I forget. Um, we won't do the whole game. It's about 20 hours. Um, well, look, look, that's probably being generous. If you are, um, as I was in 1990, 13 years old, and um, this is the most advanced PC game you've ever seen, um, then it'll certainly take you 20 hours to get through this. You'll notice that I'm going left and right and right and left. That's because this is sort of uh, this sort of very limited but um, very pronounced open world feel to it. You just kind of run around exploring things, you see. So Captain Comic 1, you started at the left and ran to the right, Mario style. Um, here it's not so clear which way you're supposed to go so you know, these steps are interesting what is this this is a building mm, gray research some sort of research facility here's a door let's jump inside ah, I need a green key for shadowing many games to come uh, one of the interesting design elements is that Denio did have a system whereby you save your progress as you go through the game and the it, it doesn't save the the state of the world to any great degree. What it saves is, um, you see that um, that's meant to be a treasure chest there. That's got uh, some uh, goodies in it, which I can't get until I get my um, pickaxe. Um, the game saves whether those chests are full or empty, you know, whether you've emptied them out yet, but it doesn't save the position of any enemies or anything like that. They all, all respawn as soon as you leave the screen. Um, but it does save the state of your inventory, so if you collect the keys, um, you'll be able to jump. I won't have to do this bit with the fish every single time to get into grey research. Now the fact that he's swimming here, this was just this just blew our minds, you know. Look at this. Look at this. The captain is swimming. It's freaking amazing. You know, still using this now I'm using my up down controls rather than jump here. These fish are a pain in the neck. Some root, some nice you know, I mean it's a it's a grid, you know, and all this, but he's he, He's got his speed set, and, and so that these fish manage to be quite irritating to shoot. Back when I was, I was, I was 13, I played this at a mate's house. His little brother um, received this game as a birthday present, and um, 
or possibly Christian stew. Um, Christian Christmas stew. Just give me a, a a hit up on the Facebook or whatever and uh, correct me on that one. But um, he got a hold of this after finishing Captain Comic, and um, uh, we just played it for hours because because we had very little skill. Hadn't played a lot of games. Uh, certainly hadn't played this game before, and. Uh, so I mean, we would have died three or four times already by this stage. You know, I mean, I knew where that blast Ola Cola was, for instance. You can imagine that your first hour with the game is spent sort of running around the um, environment with no ooh, way to even protect yourself. Now, my shield's completely in the red, so I'm probably going to die. Not, don't normally, you, you know, that's the standard excuse of the, uh, of the commentary. Oh, I'm concentrating on the commentary. Ooh. As you can see... Oh, we're probably in the bottom of Gray's research now, and uh, everything's flooded. Why is it so? We've got cracks. As if there's been an earthquake. Which, of course, they have. Sub-level 3, sub-level 2. You know, it's these sort of little details, which, as I keep saying back in 1990, it's a really sort of self-consistent world. Oh, I was not concentrating. So now we're back here. So basically, it um, saves your progress every time you hear that doo doo. Oh. Um, when you move on to a new screen, so you've got to sort of survive long enough to get to the next screen. Um, for some reason, this version of the game starts me off with full jetpack fuel and 99 captains. Uh, originally, the game it's freeware now, so I grabbed this off the internet. Originally, the game you started with, I believe it was three. Again, the true fans, feel free to correct me in the comments section. Uh, you can collect comic dolls. Uh, throughout the game world, which are um, uh, not good. <laughs> uh, comic dolls, which give you an extra life. Uh, and those of you... be interesting to know in the comments to hear from people who did play this, especially people who finished it. We finished it. The, some of the final levels are really devilish. Um, but what I'll do is... Um, we'll, we'll head up there up, up to meet the guys, so you get a kind of a... Uh, meet, meet some of the NPCs up the top here give you a feel for the first 20 minutes then I'll go off and play ahead and get to the reality console and you can see some of the real meat of the game so we go, swimming along ah we've come to the top those little green fish are a bit of a pain because easy it's a smart polish just go along uh, uh, shoot now if I'd been clever enough to not take any hits that shield if I collect a shield with full shields would have popped out of my inventory for later use there's the green key. Very handy for getting back into grey gray research. See, there's a shortcut. I've still got to survive through here. Now, it's a good policy to just jump onto this screen. And here's an NPC. Thank you for answering our distress signal. We are in serious trouble. Our leader waits for you in the observation tower. He will explain our situation. The tower entrance is on level four, at the very top of these stairs. I'll be careful with the potted plants. They have become somewhat hostile. We try to use herbo tanks to control them, but now that the computer has failed, the tanks are as dangerous as the plants. Such is life. So, you know, look at these animated backgrounds. and Look at that. I mean, that's graphics, man. Look at that. You've never... Look, that's just beautiful, isn't it? In 1990, it was. Some interesting crates which we can smash open once we get a hold of our pickaxe. Or ice pick, or whatever it is you... Uh, you tell me, true fans, these potted plants are a pain in the neck. So look, there's now about 15 minutes of, um, 15 to 20 minutes of sort of jumping up these ladders and falling down and having to shoot the plants again. So let me leave you for a moment and um, we'll reconvene at the top of the tower.